Oracle Application Tire Installation Summary for Oracle eBusiness Suite Release 12.2.5 Installation. Now this particular movie assumes that you have already completed the steps I have shown in the previous movie for Oracle Applications Database Tire. Now as far as the installation environment is concerned, the installation is done on Oracle Linux 5.x x86-64 operating system. The products that goes into in this particular release will be Oracle Database 12.1.0.2.0 which is nothing but Oracle Database 12c, Oracle IAS Server 10.1.2, Oracle Web Tire 11.1.1.9.0, Oracle Fusion Middleware 11.1.1.9.0 and Oracle WebLogic Server 10.3.6.0.0. So the last four product goes into the application tire environment. Now those of you who are simply watching this movie, I will quickly show you that we are indeed on release 12.2.5 environment. We have successfully completed the entire installation. So the steps that I am going to show you are all verifiable steps that I have taken it as far as this installation environment goes so if i go to record history it's going to show me so if i go to help and oracle applications database it's going to show me the rdbms which is 121020 nothing but oracle database 12c and oracle applications release 125 all right so coming back to the steps which is a continuation of the previous movie for database tire environment so step number four starts for application tire so you've got to obviously install release 12.2.0 which follows the same step that you would have taken for 12.2.0 for database tire so assuming that you've already installed release 12.2.0 you can follow from step number five onwards for application tire. So step number five is upgrade from release 12.2.0 to 12.2.5. So the steps that are shown over here are all the pre-upgrade steps that you've got to take before you finally apply the release 12.2.5 upgrade patch. So step number 5.1 is to run Oracle eBusiness Suite technology code level checker for application tire to identify the missing patches for application tire. So in my case, after running the ATCC for application tire, it has identified all these patches that I have listed down over here. So which includes the patch number 21539521 for Oracle IAS and that you've got to apply using opatch utility but remember to set oracle home for the ias server within your application tire first to make sure this patch gets applied correctly once you have applied this patch then we'll move on to the patches for oracle fusion middleware common and within that the etcc had recommended two patches for me which includes patch number 213-66277 and 216-28307. Now before you apply these patches you've got to make sure that you've got the right Oracle home set for Oracle Fusion middleware. So assuming that if you've applied this then you've got to change the Oracle home to Fusion middleware Oracle home common and then apply these patches using the O patch utility. Then you've got to apply the patches related to Oracle Web Tire, which also comes under Fusion Middleware. However, the Oracle Home environment for Web Tire is different than Fusion Middleware Common. Hence, you've got to preset that, and then the O patch utility also lies at another place in web tire environment so you've got to give the whole path to the o patch environment for applying this particular patch once you have applied this patch so the major patches for the application tire guards over with the exception of oracle weblogic server patches so the 
ETCC has recommended me these many patches for WebLogic Server. The way patches for WebLogic Server gets applied is slightly different. You've got to use a utility called as BSU Utility, which is a GUI based environment you've got to apply. There is a two step process. First, you've got to extract the patch file and place it in the BSU directory within the WebLogic Server. And then you can see those extracted patches in this GUI of BSU utility. So the patches that have been recommended by ETCC includes patch number 20780171 and this is an older patch and Oracle has released a new patch for this one. So when you go to download this particular patch that's where Oracle has mentioned a new patch number so instead download that patch number. Then you've got to also apply these patches which includes 219-84-589-137-296-11-1731-9481-16-1968-7084 and finally 221-28205. Also remember that these patches have got some sort of a dependency and conflicts with the existing patches. So while you are applying these patches a pre-validation will take place automatically using the bsu utility and if at all there are any conflicts with the existing patches then the bsu utility will recommend you to uninstall those conflicting patches so feel free to go ahead and uninstall them and then you install these patches fine and once you have installed these patches this will constitute the major part of upgrading to start CD51 or in other words you are applying the missing patches that have to be applied to have at the up-to-date level for upgrading to release 12.2.5 now in my case I was already on start CD51 which is the latest version at the moment but assuming that if you are on an older version of Star City, such as Star City 48 or 49, then you've got to apply all those missing patches pertaining to Star City 48, 49, as well as 51, plus the patches that are not included in any Star Cities at all. Once you have applied all those patches, then make sure you rerun the ETCC just as you have run it in step number 5.1 so that Oracle will revalidate using this particular script and update the database that all these patches have been successfully applied and there are no more patches which are outstanding to be applied. Unless you do that, you will get errors in your subsequent installation process, most probably around upgrading to release 12.2.5 patch. Now on the right hand side I have given you a reference to a document which will detail you the steps that you've got to take for applying these patches as well as it will also list the patches which will for previous versions of start cd so since i'm on the latest version of start cd 51 i don't have to worry about that but if you are on start cd 48 then please feel free to go through this particular document which will list on all those patches that you've got to apply pertaining to start cd 48 or any other previous version of start cd fine now once that gets done then you've got to move on to step number six which is to apply the consolidated seed table upgrade patch using ADOP in hot patch mode, which will include patch number 17204589 and 21900087. The details of this particular patch have been given in this particular reference note I have given on the right hand side, which is document ID 204. 9015.1 Oracle eBusiness Suite Project Specific Release Note Release 12.2.5. Once you've applied these patches, then you move on to apply AD and TXK Release Update Pack using ADOP Utility in Hot Patch Mode. This includes, as you could see, three patches for new installation environment. So these include five patches as you could see listed over here for 
a new installation environment as far as the ad and txk related patch applications are concerned oracle has released a specific document with the document id 16174611.1 which relates to applying the latest AD and TXK release update packs to Oracle eBusiness Suite release 12.2 environment. Once you have done all that, then as a part of completing this AD and TXK release update pack application, you've got to generate new auto config related files. That is, you've got to log in with AppleVis user and execute the AD MK apps util.pl utility to create the new apps util.zip file in install top admin out directory once you have done that then you have to take the apps util.zip file and transfer that to app, the database tire and within database tire then you unzip this file and then run the auto config for database tire and application tire respectively unless you do this particular step you are going to get a huge number of errors while you are applying the release 12.2.5 upgrade patch in the next step and this is what has happened in my case as well there are certain steps that have to be followed and if you are not sure then you will end up in lot of errors and it will cause you a huge amount of time to debug that error and fix that in your installation environment so make sure you follow these steps then step number nine is apply release 12.2.5 upgrade patch using adop in downtime mode this is a mega patch for upgrading to release 12.2.5 but this you must apply only after you have completed all the steps until step number eight and the exact patch number is 196764.58 and once you have run this patch it may take a couple of hours to a couple of days depending on your hardware environment and once this patch has successfully completed then you've got to run and apply a number of post upgrade patches which will include patch number 196.76460 pertaining to oracle e-business suite help and that you've got to apply using ADOP but in hot patch mode and then last patch that you've got to apply is additional critical patches which will include just one patch 2148310 which is related to application object library in addition to that Oracle has listed down a number of other patches which are pertaining to individual products depending on which products you are implementing you've got to apply those patches as well now for all the details of what i've just explained you and these particular step number six to ten feel free to refer to this particular document on oracle support website with a document id 2049015.1 oracle e-business suite product specific release note release 1225 to assist you further, what I have done is I have listed down a list of all the software that you require to install release 12.2.0 and then to upgrade from release 12.2.0 to 12.2.5. So all these software you've got to download from Oracle's eDelivery cloud and this particular file I have also posted on my website which is www.aclnz.com once you have come over here simply go to downloads and this software list you can freely download by going to oracle applications dba and here you've got to scroll down to exact software list for oracle e-business suite release 12.2.5 installation on oracle database 121020 which is nothing but oracle database well see i've also listed down the software required for installing release 12.2.5 on oracle database 11203.0 but remember that if you go for this particular database then you must first upgrade your database to 1120.40 environment first 
and only then you can proceed ahead with your 12.2.5 upgrade. If you are on a previous version of say release 12.2.4 and then you are in looking for or you are looking for installing this particular environment then you can download a excel file which lists down the software files that you require for installing release 12.2.4 which is something similar to what I have listed over here for 12.2.5 okay so a number of these files are free to download in addition to that if you look at that I have also listed down a document which is for Oracle eBusiness Suite release 12.2.5 full installation this particular document will list down all the steps in detail that I have taken right from installing Oracle Linux environment, the kernel settings required for Oracle Linux environment and then installing release 12.2.0 then upgrading from release 12.2.0 to 12.2.5. It's a pretty detailed document which consists of 80 and above pages I think it's somewhere around 83 pages at the moment but as we go along if if I find something new I'm gonna add this further but this document is a complete document so if you are new in terms of installation of Oracle eBusiness Suite environment if you don't know how to go about installing Oracle Linux which is a required operating system for installing Oracle eBusiness Suite then all those things I have covered Plus, this will be very useful to people who want to install Oracle eBusiness Suite for their personal learning purposes in Oracle VirtualBox on a single node within their computer. So this also lists down the settings that you have got to make within Oracle VirtualBox and how to go about creating a virtual machine for installing Oracle eBusiness Suite and then installing Oracle Linux and so on. So this is a very useful document. I have recently released this document a couple of days ago so feel free to download that if you like and this will help you to save a considerable amount of time in terms of installation particularly if you are new to Oracle eBusiness Suite installation environment this document can be also useful for experienced Oracle database administrator or Oracle Applications database administrators who are new to release 12.2.5 environment because in this I have also shown the steps with screenshots that I have explained you over here how to go about running these particular steps and how to go about applying these patches how to go about setting up the environment prior to applying these patches particularly it's very tricky while you are applying patches for four different products within application tier so you've got to set up oracle home accordingly and sometimes even an experienced oracle applications database administrator gets confused in this so i have listed down very clearly the steps to set up the environment for Oracle IAS prior to applying IAS related patches similarly setting up environment for FMW common and web tire within Oracle FMW and finally the steps to apply Oracle WebLogic related patches using the PSU utility so anyway please feel free to go through that and in the next movie I'm going to cover a number of errors that I have encountered while installing release 12.2.5 Oracle eBusiness Suite.